Hey guys, so it's Saturday night and I'm just sitting here answering YouTube comments and I noticed, not like I haven't been paying attention, but I noticed this week that, check this out, I am out now over 30,000 subscribers. I'm technically at 30,510, but I think I hit the 30,000, um, last week, which is super exciting for me. I've had this channel for, I think about three years now, and it just still like boggles my mind that that many of you guys have subscribed to the channel, and I think like it. I know a couple are subscribed just to thumbs down my shit, but whatever. Um, and I just wanna thank you all for that. It's pretty awesome. I really, I love this channel more now than I do when I started it and I'll keep doing it as long as I know people are liking it and you know for me I really enjoy taking the time to read the comments that you write on my videos. I like responding. I love having this kind of interactive community with you guys. It's just so cool. You guys motivate me like I'll come home read your comments, and I'll be like super pumped and motivated to go to the gym. Or maybe I'm just like feeling like shitty about myself and you guys are so nice to me and like tell me I'm pretty and you guys are just so awesome and I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. Like, I, you know, I really appreciate all your support, all the comments, you guys rock. Like, I, I don't understand people that don't respond to people's comments on YouTube, I get everyone's busy like I have a full-time job we're all busy but I do this channel because I want to interact with you guys so hope you guys are, are liking stuff and um, I just wanted to share that with you because for me it felt monumental and you guys are a big part of that so um, name yeah. change oh yes and I wanted to mention I think it was a little overdue the name change R.I.P. Carolee83. <laughs> that was the initial name of the channel three years ago when we started. And at the time, I was kind of like, I didn't want my last name to be out there because I just didn't really know where the channel was going to go. I didn't really like, it was kind of weird. When I first started the channel, I didn't want people to know about it. Like, I wanted you guys to know about it, but I didn't want like people I know, like, in person to know about it. I don't know why. I was just kind of like a, a little bit embarrassed at first. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so we went with Carolee83. First, first name, middle name, birth year, for those of you that didn't figure that out at this point. Um, but now we changed the name to Kara Fit Life Training, Fit Life, Kara Fit Life, basically because I want to represent on my channel not just competition stuff, but in general, how to have a balanced, healthy, fit lifestyle and to live it day in and day out. And that doesn't mean that you do everything perfectly every day and you go to the gym every day. You know, sometimes, you know, it's just about balance and that's what I hope this channel brings to you guys and I'd like to continue to bring you good content to help support anyone and everyone to, you know, make the best choices they can and have a healthy lifestyle. So, um, yeah, so name change. You'll see that everywhere on my social media, Instagram, um, Twitter, and all that good jazz. So, um, cheers, bitches. And drinking my strawberry lemonade crystal light god this stuff is so tasty it tastes like a sweet tart it's so good um yeah and i think we're gonna go play some good lord on the snore <laughs> i think we're gonna go play some games at dave and buster's tonight so because we're big kids and we're cool like that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're at the mall, Destiny USA in Syracuse. And we didn't really end up playing, well we played a little ski ball, but it was too crazy in there, too crazy busy. But I wanted to show you guys the coolest thing ever in our mall. We have a nail polish vending machine by Essie. The color boutique, and it even has all the spring, the pretty spring colors. You can see the spring collection. I just think this is like the best thing ever. Please comment below and tell me if you've ever seen such a thing. Have you guys ever seen a nail polish vending machine? That shit's today's approved. Hey guys, so it is now 10.20 at night. 
Saturday night, we went to the mall, came home. For whatever reason, we were both exhausted today. Um, so I just made myself a little tea. It's um, Lipton. Lipton? Oh, it doesn't even say on here. It's just a pineapple chamomile tea. Um, feeling a little hungry, but I'm also trying to listen to my body, but I'm still kind of also in that point of letting myself be a little hungry so that I can hopefully lose a little weight. Um, so I'm going to drink some tea before bed to kind of just fill my stomach up a little bit and it also kind of like gets me in the mode to go to bed to have some tea at night and kind of relax and wind down. So um, I'm going to do that and then get in bed and call it a night. So uh, probably see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. I'm gonna check my morning weigh-in. It was my lady week. <laughs> so I was up midweek when I checked. And I'm down. Doesn't even seem right. I don't know the last time I've been that low. Before Christmas. Booby shot. <laughs> <laughs> morning guys it's Sunday morning and it's like nine o'clock now cuz I just slept till whenever I wanted to get up just like 730 or so got my weight progress pictures and now I'm eating well it's almost gone but this was a little mini no-bake key lime pie cheesecake um, that I made last night that recipe will be up on Mark's channel probably this week or next week, but it's delicious. I'm eating that pre-workout because it's a good balance of fat, carbs, and protein. I woke up hungry this morning, and I'm gonna deadlift today and do back day, so I wanna make sure I have something um, kinda in me before I work out, so I have a little fuel. So, I think that's it. Um, we're gonna get going to the gym soon. We'll probably show you some footage from the gym. So we just got to the gym, and I wanted you guys to see that we actually have sunshine in Syracuse today. We have literally had the longest winter ever, it feels like. It was documented the coldest February ever, and winter has lasted from October to April. So it's gonna be 60s out today, and it looks like finally the warmth is here to stay. I'm so happy. It's just like, it's gonna be a good day. Sun shining, I'm happy. I want you guys to see it, so. Deadlift. Deadlift time. I like your outfit. Yeah. Ladies, get your, uh, what is it, the Razorback tank it's called? I like it because it gives me a little ventilation in the back. Let's air out a little bit. They need, they need Razorback um, yoga pants. <laughs> Give you some ventilation in your buttocks. I'm rocking the see-through pants. Total fashion faux pas. Don't wear see-through black pants on bad luck day. Low, but still sick and trying to recover. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Get that booty angle. Good thing it's wide angle lens with the GoPro. Pop. You need the GoPro to get all your booty in. <laughs> wide angle lens. Wide angle.
Use your legs. Last minute decision to go to the zoo. Skip the movie, enjoy the nice weather. It's gorgeous out. Love these guys. So we're the only people at the zoo without kids. F kids. We may be a little creepy now. We have a puppy dog at home. He's kid he's kid enough. He's like our baby. But it was too beautiful out to go to a movie. We we're gonna go to a movie yesterday, we didn't. And today it wasn't worth it. It's just too nice out. Too nice out. So we went from the gym to the zoo and now we're gonna go get Jason's car washed. Diddy. That's the name of the SUV is Diddy. And then head home. And maybe enjoy some time outside. Yes. Please. Actually I have to edit videos. And I'm starving. Add a banana and uh, MTS cookies and mint cookies and cream. Go this way. Mint cookies and cream shake post workout. So I'll be ready for like a good good plate of grub. I didn't we might get enough. hit by a car right now. I know people are paying not sure. Stopping. I'm starving. I had two servings of Cocoa Pebbles before the workout. Kara's egg thingy. Look <laughs> it up. She has the recipe. Look it up. On her YouTube. What was your favorite zoo animal to interrupt you? The elephants. The I elephants. Think. I like the farm animals. Yes. The combination of the chickens, the pigs, the llamas. Llamas. Llama, 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 llama. llama, llama. llama. Basically, she wants to Begotten. live on a farm. I do. I want a farm. I don't want to have to take care of it, though. I just, like, want to have all the animals. Somebody take care of it for you. I just you. want to, like, pat them and Go stuff. Out, pat them and sit with them. Yeah. <laughs> have a have a bag lunch. I think Winston would them. really get along with some chickens and pigs. He would. He would. He's like a little farm animal himself. He is. All right, that's it. All right. Made a quick stop at Walmart after the car wash. Got a few groceries. Thought we'd show you what we got. Um, this is Jason's Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah, it is. <laughs> He's into that. He needs the cobs. All those good chocolatey cobs. I got a couple. I like the just ready to go zap it sweet potato. I can usually get four servings out of this. I'll cut them in half. Um, but I like the quick, quick sweet potatoes. I grabbed one of these neuro drinks. Um, Sunday night, sometimes I have trouble sleeping, so these are awesome to get a good night's sleep, and it's crucial to get good sleep for those of us that lift and have fitness goals. Sleep is just as important. This is Jason's High Fiber Oatmeal Cinnamon Swirl. That's his. We got this value pack, $6.98 for eight Greek yogurts, and 
These are my two favorite flavors. And for whatever reason, they taste better in the packages. They're in like a different package in this container. I don't know why. And they're like thicker and creamier and fresher tasting. Walmart people, you need these. So we got those, me and Jason share those. Then we picked up, um, I saw Dietitian Deanna on Instagram tried these out, the Vanilla Cupcake Whips, 100 calories. They're a little bit higher in carbs, 15 carbs, but um, we grabbed a couple spoons. We're gonna try these out right now. Um, Wendy, I got a fresh cantaloupe, buck 98 at Walmart. Got a bunch of bananas. Ooh, it's getting a little windy now. Still super nice out. I grabbed a couple bags of frozen vegetables, grabbed some sweet peas. I love peas. They're so good. So good with a little spray butter on them. And then I grabbed the Asian Medley Steam Fresh Blend. Josie May is always raving about these, so I wanted to try those out. And then for other fruit, there are other fresh fruit there didn't look so good, so I just grabbed some of these no sugar added mandarin oranges. I love fruit cups. I could sit down and like eat all of these right now, but I will not do that. And I'm gonna try this yogurt whip for you right now so you can see if it's any good. I think that's it for groceries. 27 bucks, not bad. Whip it. it smells aight. Got hair in my mouth. Definitely doesn't taste like a vanilla cupcake. Is it good? But it's like thick and fluffy. I like it. Probably won't be sweet enough for you. Yeah, I'll have the other one then. Let me try the rest of this one. Light and fluffy whipped. Fat free yogurt mousse. I like it. It's just not like it definitely is not. It's not sweet. It's not sweet like a vanilla cupcake. I think Deanna wrote that too on her Instagram, but. Um, it's not bad. No, it's it's good. It's a different texture. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have one of the other ones. Kind of makes me want a cupcake now after looking at that picture. Yeah. Not bad though, but I think I'll I'll stick with the light and fit Greek yogurts. Those are probably my favorite right now. How are you gonna do it then? Just say you're about to start your digestion tech video. Is it gone? Yes. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little behind the scenes action of my dietitian talk videos. Ghetto lights. Ghetto lights. <laughs> this is our little computer room. Um, the setup, we have a mic here that helps if you notice the clarity in some of the dietitian talk videos of my voice. Um, I do have a lovely voice, but this mic really helps make it nice and clear. Um, to give you guys better quality. So, about to do a dietitian talk on getting in tune with your hunger. I'm starving, probably because I did a 35 minute dietitian talk. Who even watches those? It's too long. But so, I cooked up some salmon patties, they're, or salmon burgers. I got them from BJ's, it's kind of like a Costco. So I'm gonna eat that. Um, I did put a little light mayo on it. That might sound weird, but it's a delicious combo. And then I cooked up Trader Joe's multi-grain blend with vegetables. I was just going to have vegetables, but I need some carbs. This stuff is really good if you guys haven't tried it. You can eat a pretty, that's one um, serving right there for 35 carbs, 5 protein, 5 fiber, 3.5 grams of fat. So that's a nice little... Uh, side to go with it and then I bought that fresh cantaloupe at Walmart which was a buck 98 for a big ass cantaloupe cut that baby all up you get a ton of cantaloupe from it so I'm gonna probably have some of this as like my treat after I'm done with my meal and I think that'll be it for eating for today not that I showed you guys everything I ate but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlogaroo style weekend video we'll see you soon it's almost like, how do you hang out with your friends and not eat? You notice that more if you're a competitor. I noticed for myself when I competed, it was very hard to hang out with friends because everything you do revolves around food. Hey, do you want to go get dinner tonight? Do you want to go grab a coffee at Starbucks? Do you want to come to my bridal shower, birthday party, what have you?